All right, today I have a special guest on the channel, which is a 3DS that does that. Yeah, does not work. And the bottom screen is cracked, but uh, I'll try to fix it. So, the one solution to Earth's pollution is this thing. Um, the ribbon cable is, or on this thing, is most likely ripped. There's like a 90% chance, or there's something else. But yeah, as I said, 90% chance that that's the reason. From my experience at least so yeah let's replace that and hopefully we'll get a working or almost working 3ds xl because it still needs a new bottom screen that i have somewhere here yeah i'll have to find it and i'll also change the covers if everything goes as planned because i have new covers yeah great and i'm also watching the dark knight batman uh, off camera just so I have something to do while doing this <laughs> yeah, because so many have recommended to watch the movie so I just have to so I guess that also means less talking today which uh, is probably a good thing because I like to yap <clears throat> so yeah Let's just completely disassemble this thing. Got some IPA in the background. There we go. Oh. What? Yeah, this is not from a 3DS XL. So I'll have to replace this part with the one that's actually supposed to be in here. Good man, there we go. I'm gonna put all my screws in this cover. I've probably done that in the start, but it is how it is. There we go. It's weird to how to disassemble everything. Well, that's what I have to do with this thing. go <clears throat> take out the bottom screen come on buddy get out of here oh what <laughs> yeah so the correct part let's throw that out and this thing also has to get out okay and it also has a screen protector, of course it does. That's a first. And that looks beautiful. Yeah, so I'll have to buy a new 3DS XL bottom screen. Or no, I actually do not. Because I have... Yeah, I have, uh, I have that. But now I have one a touch screen. So, always good to have one extra, just in case something goes wrong. 
Now, take these buttons out because they will most likely fall out anyways, sooner or later. And I will not take this out because if I remember correctly, it stays pretty well in there. Boom. Now let's see here. Yes, this needs to be taken out. This is also trash. Boom. Throw that out. Let's see here. Now the top screen. Okay. These are pretty hard to take out without damaging. Oh my god. It even broke the scalpel. That that's the hard part. No, it's not. Trust me, it's not. I actually made a video uh, saying to never replace the screen on a or top screen on a 3DS, 3DS XL, new 3DS XL, new 3DS, new two. No, new 2DS XL is fine. But uh, yeah, DSi, and here I am doing it myself. And it's because these are already defective and I already had them. And if they break, I mean, they're already defective, so they won't depreciate in value. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'll also learn something, but for most people, it's not like that. For most people, it's not worth it at all, trust me. And this is not about patience, even though, yeah, it's a part of it. A big part of it, also, is skill. And luck. That's right, luck. So yeah. How in the hell do I push this thing out?
good. What? Was this as hard last time? There we go. What? Now it wants to come out. How and why? What the hell? There we go. That somehow came out. Now, take this out. There we go. Now let's see if anything ripped while taking this out. Because there is a really high chance that something did. So let's see here. I think I can see where it's torn. Because this is, yeah, this is definitely it.
Don't think anything else is torn. But uh, yeah, we'll see really soon. Push this out. Really, this part broke. There we go. Now, to inspect the cables, let's see here. So this is the cable I'll be replacing. Let's look at it. I mean, it looks like there's a tear right here. Or not the tear in the cable, but there's a tear inside of it. Can you see that? No, we can't. But there, it looks like there's a tear inside of here. What if I... Yeah, I can see it's... It's not intact. On the inside. Yeah, and boom. But on the outside, it looks fine. Now let's inspect these two cables. 3D cable, and camera cable, looks fine. A little tear here, but... Uh... Oh yeah, I'll have to be really careful with that. Mm. You know what, that's risky. And on the top screen cable, no tears, I think, looks fine, but the top screen one, so let's <clears throat> take a small tape piece. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Doing my best right now to preserve this cable. But uh, of course, there's no guarantee this won't work. It might even already be. Beyond repair, but. I don't really want to leave it like that. But it's also just the cameras, so. Could be worse, I guess.
Bam. Whew. Now, take out this piece to make the job much easier. Take this out. This I will put in, in the end. And now for the new cable, which is where? Here. I thought I took it out. I guess I didn't. Well, I can just take it out like this. Boom. Let's get these ribbon cables in here. ribbon cable in here come on in here just like that boom just to make sure that this is on the same end boom This needs to be bent. Something like that. Yeah, I'll still have to edit this a little, but uh, for now, this will do. Then I need a tape piece right here. Let's see. Boom. That's not the best I can do. I can do a little better. Now I also need another tape piece. And now, for the hardest part of this entire thing. Uh, let's see here. Boom. Bend this around. Make it small enough to fit through here, which is exceptionally hard this time, as I'm also trying to fit through the tape piece which I applied to not rip the cab ribbon cable. People saying this isn't hard. And listen, it's hard, easy to do, but it's hard to not break. Let's say it like that. This is extremely easy to get through. But it's extremely hard to get through in all the pieces it's supposed to be in. Because I could just shove this right through, but do I want to? No. Why? Because then I will rip all of the cables. All of them. Okay, let's retry this. And the screen cable is torn. I know it. 
we'll do something really freaking risky right now. Just to take off the protection piece here, which I probably should not have applied. And retry. I think the top screen cable is starting to get a rip or a tear, I should say. There we go. This is the first time I'll be able to do this on camera if I'm able to do this. <laughs> oh no. Boom. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to say it right now. I think two of the cables are ripped. But the question is, to what extent? Are they just starting to get a rip? Or are they actually ripped and have torn some connection? And are extremely fragile. Could be either. I don't know. I do not know. Because there is a tear in the screen cable, but it looks like it hasn't gone through. It just is on the sur or surface. It is starting to tear, but it hasn't torn it. Let's say it like that. And that is that. the camera falls Boom. Let's see here.
that through. I need this through. There we go. There we go. Now this part. I just need to press this in. Come on. Come on. Why doesn't this one go in? It jumps out again. Why? What the hell? Why doesn't it want to go in? What's the first? Thank you. So, turns out it's a hinge lock, whatever that means. Um, so yeah, but now, now it should be able to be put in. Let's see here. If I open this, just like this. Now I just need to push this in. Or do I need to do it like this? What the hell? Okay, that's interesting. So uh, that's not how you do it on the new 3DS XL. That's not how I did it last time, but uh, it worked. So uh, yeah, that's interesting. Now put in this, let's see here, boom, put in this just to protect all, everything on top here, in case I lose my sanity, now, now it's just the easy parts, so it should be fine. Oh, come on. 
Nope. It does not close. Close now? I think so. Yep, but that does not want to go in. And I don't give a fuck. Fuck this. I'll have to replace it anyways. Let's put in all of these and play my Batman the Dark Knight again. There we go. Boom. Gonna feed this through here. Uh, now let's put in uh, Yeah, I probably need the bottom screen So I'm, go I'm gonna put in the broken. No, nah, you know what? No, nah, let me just find the new one There we go Wait, how is this supposed to go? Okay. There we go. Let's see here.
Now let's see here. Uh oh, I got a screw in the card reader. Okay, I got that out. Oof, okay. Now, time to test. So, put in this last one. Now, where's this card? Boom. Brown. Okay. No, no, you know what? I just put in the battery in. And turn it on. Let's see what happens. Okay, 3D does not work. Uh, what else do I need to test? Yeah, because the 3D switch is not there. Okay, I could not do that before. I could not close it, then open it. It would just power off. So, you know what? I think I actually might have fixed it. Now, uh, yeah, I need the... Let's see here. I need the... This thing, where is it? This thing, just in, uh, well, for the 3DS Excel. Okay. Boom. Put on this cover. Come on, there we go. Boom, now it just needs those two covers. All right, those two screws. And uh, yeah, this will stay black, but I think it fits pretty fine because the rest of the shell is black. So I don't know doesn't feel like it sticks out too much if you don't think about it now let's take out the screws out of this one let's zoom out a little take out the screws out of this one boom And the second screw, there we go. Boom. And second screw. Boom. So even though the shell is brand new, still has been laying around in my shelf for a little while so i'll have to give it a clean still oh that fell out which is good because i needed it let's see here this is the new one Boom. Boom. And this thing. It's to go like this. Doesn't have the click though. Oh, it's 
the click is right there right there maybe when i close it that's when it's going to start a click okay you know what let me just close this up Oh, and it fell out. What the hell? Where the hell? Oh, here the hell. There we go. And boom. Yeah, so I put on the covers. It was really hard, and I put these stickers in now i just need to give it a last clean and then replace the top screen lens uh but uh i don't really know yeah i'll have to find that part i won't be able to do that right now because i need to go through many piles of parts and if i don't find that there then i'll have to order it but it's not that expensive so that will be fine so yeah, I was really lucky. I've done this like about four times now. Once it failed and the other three times I succeeded. Oh, I mean, I did this a lot before doing this now. I used to try to repair them. I think I tried to repair like four DSs in total before the streak I have now. And then all failed. So yeah. It takes a while to learn. But when you've learned. It's easier. Let's say that. I still almost ripped some cables. But yeah. Thank you for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.